Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Well, last time we learned that, um, well, we made it here to Stanzia. We also learned that the king really needs to laugh, but we weren't able to do that, even though we told him a really funny joke. I think, anyway. There is one person we have learned about, though, that is capable of telling really funny jokes. And he happens to be in Mon Baraba. Remember we met a, uh, a jester, somebody that was making people laugh uh, pretty hardcore here? I think his name was Panin. Um, and that's the reason that I came to Mon Baraba when I was at Kiev's. So that way I didn't have to warp to Kiev's and walk down to Mon Baraba. I can just quickly cast uh, Return. And there he is. No. Yeah, that's right. You were hearing things. Yeah, come along. Why not? Ah, yes. That's right. Well, no, I wasn't. I just need it for the defense. Okay, great. All right, and now we're going to get Panin on our team. And ooh, he can move pretty fast. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-oh. I wonder how that could possibly turn out. No. No, it couldn't possibly turn out good, could it? Let's find out! Let's find out what happens if uh, this guy has to uh, return to his old ways and uh, try and keep the theater going himself. Hmm. Nothing could, or nothing bad could possibly come of this, right? Okay, so all that happens is they get the dancing girls back uh, from Chapter 4, so nothing really exciting. So let's just go ahead and head over to Stanzia and see if we can get that Zenithian helm. Now we need to get Panna in our team, so let's put him in the lead. And then we'll put uh, BCS Buster, and there we go. If you bring in a non-playable character to lead your party in Chapter 5, um, it keeps the same music as you can tell. So let's uh, see what Panna's all about. Now he's got a th sort of lethargy, that's pretty cool. Uh, and he can cast Sleep in Battle, but other than that, he's not really useful. So, yeah, I mean... There's no really point. I mean, you can go out and take him for a battle if you want, but there's not really any point. Because uh, you only need him to do one thing for you, and that's to get that helm. So we'll just do that real quick. And then we should be on our merry way. Okay, does BCS Buster have room in his inventory? No, I need to get a small metal over Bray there. Okay, very good. Okay, Panin, see if you can top the joke uh, rather than the baby and the monkey joke that I told earlier. Okay, let's just travel one past this. Okay. Very good. Yes. Alright, go, Panin. Tell him your funniest joke. Hey. What? But you get that's what you get paid to do. You're a comedian. Hey. Uh I already tried and failed. Oh, so he's thinking outside the box. Oh. Well, very good. Ah, I see. This is true. This is true. I mean, the only way you can really do that is with alcohol. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. And we get the Zenithian helm. Good job, Panin. I'm proud of you, buddy. Let's see what that helmet can do. Ooh, big boost in defense. And that's why I didn't give um, the... That's why I didn't buy him a new helmet, so... Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, Okay. Well, thanks, Panin. And just like that, Panin is gone from the team. Aw. And now we gotta get someone back in our party there. So, uh, yeah, we'll put Mara back. Okay, she can come back in the party. And let's go with Elena and Krista. Alright. Dream team right there. So, alright. Now what we wanna do... Now that we got the Zenithian helm... Let's fight a new enemy, the Bomb Crag, and they apparently are asleep. So let's just go to town and see if we can take these guys out as quickly as we possibly can. Before they wake up. Oh yeah, Blazemore! Wow, those ones have a lot of HP. Uh-oh. We better hurry up. Come on, get in all your attacks before this thing wakes up. Go, Christo! Uh-oh. Oh, okay, well he's not really doing anything. Yeah, I think if you don't kill those guys quickly enough, they can explode. 
kind of like grenades in uh, the Final Fantasy series. So, okay, let's go ahead and get back on our ship. Now, we have four small medals, which means we can get a new piece of headgear from the Small Metal King. Now, the fastest way to get to the Small Metal King, I think, is to warp to Stancia and head west. Uh, let me just pull up my map and show you how that how that works. Yeah, see, we're right there, and then the Small Metal King is directly to the west. So, and just like in other games, the world loops around because the world is round, as we know. Unlike in Final Fantasy VI, when they tried to say the world is square, they were completely wrong. And we go over here, and there he is. But of course, we'll fight a random battle before we get there. Great Oris. New enemy here, the seal enemies. Yeah, and we're going to try and take them out quickly. Yeah, go, Mara. Love that Blazemore spell. Ooh! <laughs> Holy crap! Those things are kicking my ass. We even got metal battle equipment on. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Better heal up there. Whew! Yeah, this is not a bad place to get some experience. Because I don't think you're supposed to be able to come here. I don't think... The enemy domain, um, I think the enemy domain here is much higher than in other areas, but you don't, you don't get that much experience for it, which is kind of strange, but oh well. Okay, so now we're here at the small metal king, and we'll talk to him and give him our medals. Yes, good, and then now with our four small medals, we can get a hat of happiness. Yes, and we definitely want that. One of the best helms in the game, and we're going to give that to Christo there. All right, and now we're going to totally uh, buff up Christo there. What uh, what that does is, first it increases your defense pretty well, and every four steps, uh, let's see if I can show this off here. Okay, he's got 60, okay, this isn't a good example. But anyways, if you take four steps, you recover one MP. So that's, I think Mara can also equip this too, so it might not be a bad idea to give it to her either. So, okay, what I'm going to do now is rest up at the end, figure out who I really want to put the Hat of Happiness on, and then we'll continue with our adventure. Yes, I am tired. 80 gold? What a ripoff. Okay, so I've made a few changes to my party, slightly. Um, I decided to give the Hat of Happiness to Mara, because she actually uses more MP than Christo does, and I'm going to be able to get a new hat for Christo. Well, I could have done it earlier, but I was saving up my money. Now that I have enough money, I probably should buy this helmet for Christo, and I should have done this earlier, but, you know, I decided to ignore, uh, some of my notes that I made, or, well, I actually just forgot about him. I also um, put Christo in the lead because I gave him the Metal Babble armor because now the BCS Buster has the Zenithian helm. Uh, his defense is actually pretty good. Um, and I kind of want to balance out the defense of the party. Yeah, that's a much more balanced defense. Uh, we can pretty much take more damage as a whole party now, so that's pretty good. So uh, I also gave uh, BCS Buster the full plate armor and gave Ragnar the half plate armor since he's not in our party anymore. So, okay, we're good. Now what we want to do is we need to get over to Burland. And let's go check and find out where that is. Let me check my map here, make sure I know where I'm going. Uh, yeah, okay, I know where I'm going now. Okay, what we need to know is we need to go up around here. And there are a few different ways to get to Burland. I think this is the fastest way. Well, from where we are, because we had to be here anyways. For the, uh, for the uh, small metal helm. And there's a cave there, but we can't get in there yet. Small metal king, not small metal helm. I'm an idiot. Okay, uh, so we're just going to follow this coastline here, and, uh, you know, we're just traveling at sea here. Uh, haven't run into any pirates yet or storms. We haven't needed any balm yet, so that's good. And we want to cross these mountains here, and now we should be coming into some familiar territory. Ah, there's an older village that we may have remembered from before. It's Ismet Village from Chapter 1. Strange dream. Huh, interesting. Well, we'll have to check that out for sure. But yeah, this is uh, close to Berlin, so this is good. Oh, all right, well, we may have to check that out. Let's see, yeah, nothing going on here. And we have these people here. See if they say anything different from before. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, oh, I guess I can talk to the Indie Keeper from behind there. That sounded kind of weird. They, they, well, never mind. Anyways, oh. But no one will stay here. Well, I'll tell you what there, buddy. I'll give you some business. But first, I have to explore the town. Because that's what you're supposed to do in all RPGs. Kind of revisit and uh, 
see what's changed since the last time we were here. Oh, well, I think they've closed, it, closed the school down, but I guess not. Oh, yeah. I remember they kidnapped the children back in uh, Chapter 1 there. So, huh. Interesting. Let's see what's going on back here. Um, Pocos? Who the heck is that guy? And that guy's sleeping, so nothing exciting there. And then we still have that guard who apparently has been wandering aimlessly amongst the towns, amongst this town for the last four chapters. Yep, he kind of reminds me of Steiner from Final Fantasy IX, you know, just kind of wandering around, not worrying about it. And, uh, okay, let's see. And yeah, we got one more person we can talk to. Nope, they're both sleeping. Well, she's not moving her arms. I probably should have figured she was asleep. So, oh well. All right, let's see if there's anyone in the jail. Nope. Good, nobody's been committing acts of uh, crime or anything like that, so that's good. All right. So let's go ahead and stay at the inn here and see the strange dream they're talking about. 48 gold? Oy. Hmm. Well, where are we? Hmm. Interesting. Rosa. Hmm. I didn't know someone from Final Fantasy IV was in this. Whoa. What? Saro. But Saro was a good guy in Seventh Saga. What the heck is this? Oh no. Well, I thought Gorsia took care of that back in Seventh Saga. Hmm, wow, that's kind of creepy. Wow. I wonder if Saro is any relation to Necrosaro. No, no, that co couldn't possibly be the case. Could it? Okay, we're down here in Ismet Village. And we got a new enemy here, the Skull Knight. So yeah, just take him out real quick. Um, with, ooh, figured that would work a little bit better. With the, uh, you know, with him being undead, you know, a fire spell you would think would work, but... Yep, yeah, no problems there. Yeah, pretty decent experience for one enemy. And they weren't that hard, so... Okay, uh, so here's the cave we went through in Chapter 1. I'm just going to go through it real quick. The enemies are actually the exact same as they are in Chapter 1, so... I'll just go through this cave real quick. Just head south. It's real easy, and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, we made it through that cave no problem. It took me about 30 seconds to get through, and I earned a total of 10 experience points. Woohoo! And there's Berlin Castle, site of... Um, chapter one. I wonder if you have any other additional di dialogue with Ragnar in your party. Let's find out. And we've made it back to the castle town of Berlin. But what awaits us here? What about that Zenithian shield? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.